Good morning and welcome back to North Dakota Today. Well, people decide it's time to lose weight for all sorts of reasons, and sometimes it's because of a crisis. You may not know, but actor and comedian Tom Arnold suffered a stroke that made him finally make the decision to turn his life around once and for all. Listen to him share what helped him change his life and lose 80 pounds. I think at first I was afraid I couldn't do it, couldn't lose weight, even if I did everything he said. And it did take a little bit to get going. And then all of a sudden one day I'm like, holy hell, look how much weight I've lost, it's crazy. I like to tell people, well, of course I got in shape. I have kids, my kids are nine and six. I'm a 63 year old dad. You'd think that would be enough. But I had like a mini stroke and they're like, you really need to lose some weight. And so then I said to Charles, I said, all right, let's 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 do this. I had seen his results, turning huge people into normal sized people. And he himself was huge. Uh, he looked like the fat Elvis. Uh, uh, but so I started with him and just, you know, took the leap of faith, which you have to do. And I just did everything he asked me to do. I couldn't see the end of it. It's six months to lose 80 pounds. How do you do that? And I still was eating. I was eating more meals. You know, he likes to talk about feelings a lot. <laughs> Which is, at first, I was like, this muscular dude is talking about a lot of feelings. But, but I always felt like I didn't really want to have that conversation, but that felt good. You know, he said, like, you deserve to be healthy. You deserve to be, you know. And I was like, yeah, that, that, was, that was a good thing. And then I'd get tips for the next two weeks. And sometimes he'd say, you could add this and, and, and get rid of this. And every time he did that, I was like, I'm so grateful for that. And he handles, I can tell he handles a lot of people. A couple times I've been late and he goes, I'm on another appointment. I go, well, that was 15 minutes? Oh, yeah, yeah. Like he's got a lot of people he's working with. He doesn't need to be working with me. So he accomplishes a lot and it's great. I mean, whatever it is, uh, it worked for me. It is important to be held accountable. You do have to take a picture of your weight and send it to him. And you know, I get in there, I take off all my clothes. I'm only going to weigh naked. I'm only going to weigh in the morning. And there's some disgusting uh, shots of my feet, but you know, it was going down. So I was like, yeah, I want to show somebody this. That's not something I would do normally to send somebody, hey, check out my weight. But uh, you know, it got better and better. It's a lifestyle choice. It's not a diet. I need structure in my life. I need structure in my kids' lives, but I have to be here to be responsible for them. And, and they also need to be healthy. So the best thing I could do is every day, one day at a time, follow this plan. And that's what I've done for the last eight months. Anybody could do it. If I could do it, for sure anybody could do it. You gotta get Charles D'Angelo. There's nothing like it. Great story. We are now joined by the weight loss coach that helped Tom reach his goal, Charles D'Angelo, who coaches clients from all over the country. Charles, welcome. Hey, so nice to meet you, Sophia. And first off, congratulations on uh, first runner up <laughs> in just, uh, North Dakota. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. So Thank I you. understand that you have had your own weight loss journey. Is that correct? Yeah, as a teenager, I was 360 pounds. So when someone comes to see me, whether they're a public figure like Tom, or a stay-at-home parent, or a teenager, I can truly relate. I mean, weighing 360 pounds, being bullied, feeling like I was an outsider, I totally connect with the struggle, the sense of hopelessness. So I help people really disconnect from being spontaneous with their eating habits. I have clients in North Dakota, South Dakota. Uh, I have people that work with me from all over the world via Zoom. So if you're afraid to really start the process because you think to yourself, oh my gosh, I don't know if I'm really ready, all you have to do is is log into your phone or onto your computer and we connect just like this and my clients are just as successful via zoom as they are when they're in the same room breathing the same air with me absolutely so you're located in st louis missouri and you coach everyone from public figures like tom to doctors to stay at home parents all over the world tell us how your program works yeah so a person comes in the first thing we've got to recognize is most people feel like they've tried everything and nothing works, right? And those are the people that really should reach out to me. They can just go to my website, charlesangelo.com, submit a consultation form, 
they'll be contacted by me or a member of my team. And we'll sit down, we'll come up with the, the goals that they really want to achieve. Because most people know what they need to be doing, but they have trouble getting themselves to do what they know. A vast majority of my clients are medical doctors. Mm -hmm. So obviously, they know what needs to be happening. And if you're a person who might feel like, well, I really need extra support, I do mentor a lot of other helping professionals. I have a young man who's a dear friend who's in actual Fargo, North Dakota. So if it so happens that in our consultation, we believe that the virtual wouldn't be an appropriate fit, then I can certainly steer you in the direction of working with someone in person up in Fargo uh, if you need that really um, in-person type of connection. Well, that is just wonderful. And you've made such an impact on everyone's lives. Definitely, if you are at home on the fence, reach out and check out that website. And thank you so much for joining us. It's my pleasure. Enjoy the rest of your week and uh, say goodbye to your co-host. I'm sorry to hear she's leaving. Yes, I definitely will do that. Thank you so much. Nice. Com <laughs> Coming up on today's show, we will have more details about the volunteers at AARP North Dakota. That's after the break.